another crazy tutorial today's tutorial we're gonna be doing an overlay of mask effect i don't know what to call it you'll probably see the title i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that it's a pretty simple effect that is pretty trendy as well a lot of people do it multiple ways that you can do this you can use the premiere pro and or you can do it in after effects as well but for today's video we're gonna be do using premiere pro i'm just gonna show you guys how to do the basic uh there's a lot of things that you can do with this effect uh, and yeah i mean i just want to say thank you guys again for supporting me to this day you guys been showing love on my videos and i appreciate that because it just lets me know that the time i'm putting into it is actually worth it so uh, with that being said i'm not gonna make this video too long let's get straight into what we need to do first thing we're gonna do is like always oh, just try to find somewhere in the video where you want to put it so i'm just gonna try to find a good spot we're gonna do this part right here we're gonna mark it with the marker and we're gonna see how far it goes so However, we could, we could do this one right there, but I'm just gonna use like a little transition between those two clips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go exactly where our person is. I am gonna put the static overlay that I'm using for the video down in the description below. So you can go ahead and download that in the description right now. Um, I'm gonna wait for you guys to do that. Once you have done that, you just put it in after you fit in Premiere Pro. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the opacity down to 10% so that we can see the person behind it and we're gonna grab opacity tool we're gonna do a little mask around the person the next thing we're gonna do is once you have the static overlay once you have your static overlay in premiere pro the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to opacity we're gonna bring the opacity down to 10 percent just so that we can see what's behind it the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the opacity tool and we're just gonna draw we're gonna do a quick mask around the person it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get the person so i'm gonna get back to you guys once i masked out the person Once you have matched out the person, the next thing we're gonna do is bring back the opacity of the overlay to 100%. We're just gonna go 100. It should look something like that. You already have something like this. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to keyframe the path of our uh, overlay so that so it matches the person. So we're gonna go here again. We're just gonna drag all the way to the beginning, and we're gonna bring down the opacity down a little bit again. To where you can see the person we're gonna keyframe the path of our mask there it's gonna take some time to do it so like like always i'm just gonna speed it up all right so i'm probably gonna leave it up to here because i noticed that there's like this small open area right there it's just gonna look kind of weird if i keep going so i'm just gonna cut the i'm just gonna cut the the video to this part delete that and we're gonna see how it looks up the opacity again to 100%. Here and we have that effect. It's pretty simple, like I said, it's nothing crazy, crazy, but you can play around, uh, you know, as much as you want. You can make it look good, you can do literally whatever if you want. Uh, the next thing I want to do as well is show you guys how to do it on an object. I think I remember there was like a little window when it starts at the beginning. So the next thing we can do is right here, so you guys can see this part of the video. We can actually do something good with this as well, so it's not as plain. Next, so we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring our overlay. But this time it's gonna be a little much more easier. We can either use the crop tool, so we don't have to do as much work, or we can just rotate it like this. We can put it on the door. So just play around and make sure it comes out to be good. So we're gonna scale it up a little bit more as you can see it already looks really good and i didn't really do that much of work so the only thing i did notice is that you can see right there i'm gonna move it a little bit all right about right there so we're gonna have to keyframe the position as well because we want it to look as 
good as possible so we're just gonna keyframe it gonna go one down and then we're gonna keep going moving the position a little bit to right there I'm gonna cut it right here because that's where it ends. I'm gonna go one frame. I'm gonna cut it right there. Like that. So, show you guys how simple you guys can literally do something crazy without even putting the much of work. So you guys can already see right there. We have this cool looking effect by just literally doing not that much of work. So it's just creativity and time. That's literally all you have to put into it. It's a pretty simple effect. I just want to show you guys how to do this because I thought it would be something simple and small that can literally give your video a whole new vibe. And I mean, there's so many ways that you can use this. Like I said, you can use it to cover effects. You can use it to cover persons or do a transition. There's a lot to go with this effect. I just, as long as you know how to play with it, as long as you let your creativity go, and I mean it's pretty simple, it's nothing crazy, it's something that you can literally just do in a couple of minutes, it didn't even take me long, and I mean just, I just want to say thank you guys, I'm going to keep trying to post new videos every day, new tutorials, and with that being said, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, I'm in the road to 1k, so hit the subscribe button for me.